Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to change the background in Pixlr. This is a very simple thing to do guys, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end, follow my steps correctly, so you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official Pixlr website right here, pixlr.com if you haven't already, and after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this whole page right here which is the main page of pixlr where we can start with logging into our account so here in the upper right corner we'll have the login button you can even go ahead and create a new account if you do not already have one and after logging in you'll be greeted by this home page right here now we can get started with opening up the photo editor so let's go ahead and open up the photo editor right here to get started with adding a new background to our images so this is going to open up this new menu page where we can get started with opening up the image that we want to change the background for so click the open image button i already have my image right here so i'm just going to go ahead and select it and after selecting my image, now we can get started with removing our background and changing it for something else. So the first thing we want to do is look right here at the left side screen where we can see all the options that we have in the toolbar for editing our images, such as arrange, crop, cutout, and so on. So let's go ahead and see how to remove our background. Basically, to do that, we're going to use the cutout option. So click on cutout, and using the cutout option, you can go ahead and select the shape that you want to keep in your image. But if you do not want to do it yourself, you can just go ahead and use the AI cutout option. So as you can see here, we have AI cutout, and after, after clicking on it, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and remove our background. So now we only have our object without the background and behind. And now we can get started with inserting a new background that we want to use for our image. But yeah, guys, basically that is how to do it. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care and bye.